Hey, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about a little diorama part of the Ultimate Weapons Pack modular display for figure accessories. We see this is coming from Super Action Stuff. So on the back here of the package, we see some configurations for the modular weapons bay and some customized displays for it. On the side here, we have the Ultimate Weapons Rack and we see some more options for it. So let's get it off the rotator and onto the scale. So the weapons rack is coming in at 11.8 ounces. So let's get it off the scale and out of the box. Hey, open, <sighs> damn it. Open. Okay, when you open up the accessory weapons rack here, the ultimate weapons rack, this is what you get. You get eight of these. You can see it's got all the holes here on the back. On this side, it's got a grate. It's got holes there, there, there. It also comes with these kind of stands for however you want to do it. Bottom coming out. Comes with these little bucket bins here. And you get a ton of these little pegs here, and they do roll around very well. I can tell you that for a fact. Had to wrangle some up as I poured it out. Also comes with a couple of these clips. Here, a closer look at the pegs. Comes with these little bins as well. Oh, there goes a the peg. But you get quite a few of them that's for sure and they like to roll around okay so i went ahead and put all the little pegs in the bag so i can get to work on this thing so you can just simply like i said before simply just attach these here and build you a little wall you can use the pegs to increase that wall space um, you can also use the bottoms here to take and, and add flooring to it. So as you can see here, if you want to have a flooring and you have a, a six inch figure or something like that, then you'll need to at least include three of these for a six inch figure scale. You can see here comes to a six and a half inch figure and we get the need for just one more weapons rack so we have something that's out of reach now for a seven inch line this definitely would be something you need to have extra for because they just are a little bit bigger for that now if you're going to stick to the three and a quarter inch scale like say a Fortnite this would be fine or even the DC three inch figures or the three and a quarter inch figures that definitely work fine for that now if you're going to take these systems apart you'll need to have these pegs in here and you simply just place them in the holes and insert them in now they're not that tight in here you can easily remove them back and forth um, but you would definitely need them to do that so here we have the dire wolf and we can see how they stand or here's gi joe's so i can definitely see this being used for joe's Simply just put that in the peg holes, line them up, and then just simply take your weapon and insert it in there. Now you can also use these for certain things also. So it depends on how you want to display it to display your weapons on a rack. Now I don't know of many militaries. I've only been in one military 
the U.S. Army. Um, we didn't store it like this. We had racks like these, yes, um, for bins and things like that. However, we didn't uh, put a lot of stuff on racks and things like that. We had places for them to go. But if you're looking for this kind of rack for your figures, this definitely is a nice rack. Um, I would definitely recommend it for your G.I. Joe and Action Force line figures. If you're looking for um, something for DC, it does also fit uh, the 7 inch line. Um, say you're building out your Batman's cave. I could definitely see this also being used to store a couple of things there. So remember to shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.